Good. So those are some of the reports coming in from the Western and Ashanti regions here, yeah, considering or regarding the two-day pilot um, of the biometric voter registration exercise. So I'll go on to Dr. Srebo um, now. Uh, Doc, uh, before we go on to the specific challenges that uh, were encountered in some of the registration centers, quickly let's take a look at this issue. In your statement that you released, that's the EC, uh, you indicated that the essence of the exercise was to evaluate, among other things, the preparedness of the commission uh, for the upcoming voter registration exercise. And amongst the matrix that were tested, you indicate that there was the efficiency of the biometric voter registration kits and its adaptability to various operating conditions in various parts of the country. We are told that um, in all, a total of about 1,990 people were registered after the two-day exercise. And that, that, that brings us to about, um, on the average, 82 registrations per day, per region. Question is, would you say that the numbers that you got or the volumes that we experienced in the two-day pilot gives or presented the, the pressure that would be able to test the efficiency or the functionality of the BVR kits ahead of the real registration exercise? Thank you very much and good evening to your listeners and viewers. Uh, I will link the pilot to the mock exams. You are testing yourself, the system, the kit to know whether everything is ready for the exercise. So the main essence of the pilot is to take it to the fold, identify possible hiccups mm -hmm. so that you can address them. So uh, if you monitor the exercise, you read that the challenges for the first day were higher, but the second day, with the exception of Western region, all the other 15 regions performed creditably. Now, we, our projection was to have average of 100 a day, and we had around 82 or so. So if you put it up, it's about 80% percent line. So I would say that it was a successful exercise, mm. and we have learned a lot of challenges that had been rectified. Great. Now, speaking about uh, you learning a lot, could you share with us what some of the key lessons are that have been learned from the two-day exercise? One of the things that we learned was that in the course of transporting the kits, some of the links, the wires and the rest, get disjointed or loose, loosened. Mm -hmm. So before you start using them, you have to check all the links. But some of them were saying that they cannot, uh, the system cannot ad uh, identify some of the ancillaries. Mm. So when they were asked by the technicians to look at the various links, they read that they have been loosened. So that is was one of the one of it. Right. And the other one too. Mm -hmm. Carry on, please carry other on. One, other one too was with respect to the charging of the battery. Because of the same issue of the loosening. They, this, unlike the previous one that you have to remove the battery and charge, this time you charge through the main case. And the, once you link it to the main case, all the other antennas will be linked. So they were also have complained about the charging system and the same arrangement was made. Mm. And it was the same problem with the charging that led to uh, Western region not able, able to continue the second day. Mm. So we have recalled the machine to Accra. The technicians will look at it and identify what right. Now, Doc, um, you know, clearly, like you indicated, the analogy of the mock examination, um, obviously, it's, uh, this, this pilot was to test, uh, aside the functionality of the system or the kits, also the responsiveness of the EC. So particularly, let's take a look at the Western region, where we are told that um, the day one recorded 73 but day two, you couldn't carry on because the machine failed to work. Question is, was there not um, arrangement for a replacement? Because obviously we're looking at the situation where on the D-Day, you wouldn't want such a situation to happen. You definitely want some response to occur. So how do you address the responsiveness of the Electoral Commission in this regard? 
Thank you very much. Because I said it was a pilot, we didn't send space or backups to them. We wanted to check the machine. If we were to send the backup, the more issue they would go to the backup, so we may be able to identify the program with the But with respect to the main exercise, we are going to roll out not less than 1,003 as backups. So every district, region, and national will have various backups that they can fall on. But this one, because it was a pilot, we wanted one machine to work so that we see how the battery will work, why everything, everything will work. So we didn't send it back. So, so as it stands then, we haven't been able to test the responsiveness of the commission regarding situations where there would be the need to replace, have we? So, like I said, we, we, are, we use 16 and only one had a challenge. So if it would be the main exercise, as I said, there will be backup. So it's just a matter of replacing the kit with a new one. But this one, because we want to, like I said, some of the issues with respect to the charging and the linkage and the rest, if they were to be spares, they would have really moved on for the space without identifying the main cause of the issue. So because they didn't have the, uh, the, the space, that's why they were able to identify the actual challenges over them. Mm. So next time when they go to the field and the, the battery is not charging, the system is not identifying the camera and the rest, then it will prompt them that they should first check the linkage is before they will look at the backup. Mm. Very well. Um, please kindly um, assist us with this. Um, we were made to understand or there are reports that suggest that some BVR kits from 2016 were used in the pilot. Uh, can you confirm that? I don't know whether you are team monitor the exercise. We used 16 new kits. None of them was old. So totally... The of them. Right. So those reports if, making the rounds that suggest that 2016 BVR kits were used uh, should be that, ignored. If, I don't know whether, whether your team monitored. Mm -hmm. they, yeah. we, I personally took the review of the 16 kits. At the spot, on Saturday, the technicians worked on them. We dispatched them on Sunday. So most of them, with the exception of the Northern Center, the Northern Center, which couldn't have access to them on Monday, mm. but on Sunday, they had them on Monday and they used them on Tuesday. So all the 16 kits were very used first time on the Tuesday. There wasn't mm. any 16, 2016 kit. No. Okay. But I, I'm, I hear they have uh, numbers. So I think the Northern Region has the tag 16. Mm -hmm. Because we are using this that's why maybe the person identified. Mm. But I believe that this, that, that statement was made on Monday, and I believe if the same person is interviewed uh, today, he will know he will tell you that it was a new case. Okay, so you're saying the situation has changed, so that would necessarily bring along the new information. But tell us, uh, we also have uh, picked this information from the statement, the EC issue that um, the exercise, the registration exercise proper which is to start later on in the month to end in July, will take place at all 33,367 polling stations. Is that correct? Yes, but not simultaneously. That's why we said we are using the clusters. Okay. So what it will mean is that we will divide the 33,367 into five. Mm -hmm. And each five, each of the five, or each of the... Uh, Cluster. When you divide it through, you get around 6,780. Mm -hmm. So we are, we are ruling out 6,780 teams. And each team will have one machine. So they will, uh, they will go into five phases. So phase one will be the 6,780. They will spend the six days there, cover all the 6,000 780 police stations. Then they will move to the second phase, which is another batch of 6,780. They will also spend eight days there. Then they go to the third phase, these days, fourth phase, these days, then the fifth phase, these days. So after they have covered all the five phases, we mean that they will have touched all the 3,367 police, uh, police or registration mm. centers. Right. So you're okay, saying that's the, what we said. very well. The thirty-three thousand. Okay. The thirty-three thousand. Three... Pardon me. What did you say? I said that's why we said we are covering all the 
3,367, but it will not be simultaneously. Okay, so you're using the cluster approach, you say, and that would work out into five teams uh, of no, some six... One team, one team, but moving to five faces. Five faces, involving 6,673 um, BVR. So do we currently have that consignment? Can you confirm? Some are already in, others are on the way coming. We'll get them before we start. All right, so if you could just help us with the numbers, how many do we have currently? And um... I, I, would, I, wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to comment on that. Okay. Now, you, you, given the fact that the pilot uh, was in respect of 16 centers across the 16 regions, um, some have wondered how um, the selection of the kits were done. Because obviously, we're expecting that all the kits that would arrive will be of the same functionality. But we do know that that may not be the case. So what measures were put in place to ensure that, even though we piloted with 16, uh, what transpired on the two days of the piloting could necessarily be generalized to cover all 6,673 that we're expecting to use on uh, come uh, later this month. I don't know whether if I got you right, you are saying that the kit would differ. And if that is what you are saying, that that is not the case. Not that it would we differ. Having... Not that it would differ. We are saying that we are expecting a certain number of kits. And we you are, are if you like, randomly expecting... selecting 16 for the pilot to assess the functionality of the whole lot. I'm saying, what are the risks involved in that kind of, you know, random selection for the pilot exercise as against the general exercise, which is to be done later on in, uh, in the year or in the month? With my little knowledge in research, testings are done with a random samples. Mm -hmm. So, but it's the same that we are buying. 8,000 with uh, 500 spares. But even our distribution, as I told you, we are using less than 7,000. So it means that we have more than 1,000 in addition to the 5,000. But every test is done with random samples. You mm. cannot say that we are testing all the machines on the field at the same time. It has never been done. Mm. Very well. So now you, you say that the exercise was successful. And that is against uh, what standard per se, if you could help us with that. Is it the number of registrations that you organized or you were able to record per day or um, how efficiently the machines worked? Because these, I believe, are different variables that ought to be tested, you know, differently. Yeah, so if you look at the statistics, the first day that all the system worked and the challenges that were encountered, we registered 7,440. The second day that Western region didn't work, we, we, we recognized, so we registered 1,203, meaning that it almost doubled. So that tells you that we were able to uh, identify the challenges for the first day and we move on to the second day with high number of, uh, mm. high number of re registrants. Right. Now, uh, for instance, let's look at the Volta region. There were reports that uh, on day one, um, there was an abrupt closure of the process because the machine failed to respond after 36 persons had registered. Um, we do note that on day two, uh, the number increased to 105, which obviously suggests that things were rectified. But if you could let us understand what happened and how that was corrected. I think I've answered that in the initial point. I said almost all of them had initial challenges because of the movement. The batteries were not charging. And read that some of them, they were, they were lose, uh, what do you call it, uh, linkages. Some of them, the machine system were not recognizing the auxiliary parts. And all that read that because of the transportation, mm -hmm. the shaking, the rest led to that. So we were able to identify all of them, they were rectified. Mm. That's why you were saying that the work with I think the, the second highest second is that is a, a 105. So that mm -hmm. even if they went beyond the projected end. Mm. So the pilot was identified the challenges that we can rectify. Mm. 
Mm. So if voter are registered around, I think it was about 30 something the first day and the second day they went to 105. Mm. It tells you that we were, we were able to address the challenges of the first day. Right. Now, Doc, tell us, so with the lessons learned, particularly my interest has to do with the links, uh, which, you know, by virtue of the transportation were affected and so didn't help with the functionality of the kits. So um, how do we use this information to help with um, the actual exercise? Are you, are you going to convey the BVR kits way ahead of time to the centers? And if so, what are the arrangements for security and everything involving these things? And I'm asking this question because it has to do with logistics and, of course, the, the, the human resources to help with this kind of arrangement. So if you could elaborate on how this lesson is going to inform planning and organization for the actual exercise. The lesson is that once you take delivery of the kit, before you start using them, check all the links. Because this is the, 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 unlike the previous one that you have to remove the parts from the kit. Mm -hmm. This time, all the parts will be in the kit and you, you op just open up and start using them. So once you, they opened up, they, it didn't occur to them that they should check their links because everything is already linked up. So what we have learned is that when you get them, check the various, so that you look at the loose holes, uh, knobs and whatever, so that once you, you, you fasten or you tighten out of them, then you are short of a good start. Right. So, so you're, you're, in other words, if I, if I get you correctly, what you're saying is it doesn't matter that they are transported on the same day, but what, what matters really is that once it gets in, the persons to operate the system will check to ensure that the links are in place, and if they are, they can get on with it. So our plan is to get them to the various sites not less than three days to the registration. Mm. And it is only the trust plan that will move the next day. Mm -hmm. That when the, the same tonight is moving with it. But we, once we are moving from the regions to the, sorry, the from national to the regions and the districts, we are planning that they will get to them no less than three days. Mm. But what I'm saying is that any time that they are going to open the system to work with, check whether the, the various links, wires and the rest are properly linked up. Mm. Right. Now, um, we are informed by your statement again that the actual registration exercise is scheduled to commence uh, in the last week of June uh, to end in July. Could you kindly uh, help us with some you know, specifics here? Do we have a particular date in the last week of June that we expected to um, start this exercise. And I'm asking this so that we can have a basis to compare with what transpired in 2012, where um, we, registration started sometime in March, you know, 20. We, 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 we are here to come out with uh, that day, but after it, we'll start the last week of month of this uh, the month of June, which is this month. And go with him. Doc, Doc if you could kindly speak up. I, I, I don't think we can, I can hear you loud enough. What I'm saying is that mm -hmm. we are planning to start the last week, within the last week of July, mm -hmm. June. But we have not finalized the exact date. Mm. And we are planning that by the end of July, we will have finished the registration. By the end of July? Okay, so yes. that will give us, give or take, you're looking at a period of five, five weeks to do this exercise, correct? Stretch eight days. Working out to including about... More, including days for, days for mop-up and travel and everything. Right. That, and that will be the three days for mop-up. This is what is indicated. Three days in mop-up and uh, travel days, everything. Including the, including mm. the eight, eight days. Very well. So we are yet to be given a particular date, but that would... And that would have implications for the duration then, because if we were to start the last day of the last week of June, that only gives us a day. And then you have the, the, the whole of July. So that would, you know, be some days short. And so we, the, the, there are concerns about that, looking at the timelines as against what transpired in 2012. Obviously, we are learning um, from history. And so that should guide us, shouldn't it? Hello. Hello, Doc, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the West went West Camp. Very well. I'm, I'm just uh, asking about the timelines. Very well. Carry on. Yes, I got it. Sure. Now, what 
I want to put across is that we have had Table. Mm. So trust us, we will be able to deliver because we, we met, met, met and discussed a lot of things, considered a lot of things before we decided on it. So we are sure that we will be able to deliver. Mm. Very well, Doc. At this point, I think we need to take a break. We'll come back to look at um, other lessons learned, particularly the, on the thorny issue of the proof of eligibility. What were the trends that emerged yeah, which we, which, we, 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 we will come back we need to take we need to take a break but when we come back we'll look at how that uh played out in terms of what um which which modes people appeared to have you know used the most in the exercise this is a key point we have with us um, Dr. Srebo Kweku, who is the Director of Electoral Services with the Electoral Commission we're looking at the two-day pilot of the biometric voter registration exercise that occurred early on in the week, 2nd June and 3rd June. Uh, matters are rising and, you know, as we prepare for the 7th uh, December 2020 polls. See you after this break. Welcome back. This is a key point. We are live on TV3, also live on 3FM 92.7 and online at 3news.com. Also on our Facebook page, TV3 Ghana. So we are having a conversation with um, the director of Electoral Services at the Electoral Commission, uh, Dr. Sirbo Kweku, via Zoom. Uh, I go back to him. Doc, um, we're back. So uh, before the break, I indicated, can you hear me, Doc? I can hear you loud and clear. Great. So I indicated uh, that we, I would want to understand what uh, played out on the two days regarding proof of eligibility. I'm not, I don't intend to go into the matter before the courts, but uh, what I'm suggesting is in view of the fact that um, the EC laid out a criteria for proof of eligibility for the registration exercise and that it included uh, a passport, Ghana card, and then the guarantees. At the pilot's level, can you tell us how this played out? Which of the modes came out to be more prominent, if you like, or which was more dominant? How many, uh, was it the passports that most people presented? Was it the Ghana card or people resorted to guarantees? Uh, I would say that all of them were used, but I, I don't have the figures. But what I know is that some of them have the, uh, the pyramid at a source, but they wanted to check, test their guarantee, guarantee system and so all, all the three processes were, I use other passport, Ghana card, or the guarantee system. So mm. we to use it. I don't have the figures. But so you can't. You're not able to tell us that uh, after the two-day exercise, this is what appeared to be the trend that a number of people were using the passports. I, I'm no. thinking that no. given the, if you like, how controversial this particular issue had been, perhaps it would have been one of the areas you would have, you know looked at when putting together the reports which beautifully informed us about the numbers broken down into the 16 regions and everything like that so um it would uh, be great uh, to know like i said some people had a passport and Ghana card but yes there was one it was a pilot some of people wanted to test the uh, guarantee system there so they were, they were also used mm -hmm. but I, as, I don't know whether you are aware that the guarantee system is not new to us Pardon me? I don't know whether you are aware that guarantee system is not new to the registration Very, We do know that it's not new. Definitely, we do know. But uh, we just want to know. And uh, this question I'm asking is, I'm asking this question because of the issues that have played out ahead of, you know, this exercise. Indeed, it, is, it is a critical... And that is the exact case at the court, so let's leave it there. Very well. I mean, the court is to determine certain issues, but we are looking at, after the pilot, what emerged. And, but you're telling us that you don't have those details. Yes. Very well. But again, the I, mode... I, I, not the, I, I, not the commission. For now, you don't have it. I don't have it. And I didn't say the commission didn't have but I don't have it. Very well. But at least it wasn't part of your report. The report looked at the numbers of registrations that were done per day over the period. Do, 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 you, do you have the report that was sent to the commission? We have the statement that was issued on the 4th of Correct. June... 2020, so the, which, statement, the statement is different from the report. 
Very well. I, I think I, I use the word in, in wrongly here. I do admit. But we're talking about the statement which put out a summary of what happened uh, over the two-day period. So it, 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 it should be in the report to the commission, but I don't have it. We currently don't have it. Okay. But that's fine. And, the, and again, why this is of concern to many, apart from the fact that people are talking about that, yes, there's a potential for disenfranchisement and what have you. I think another issue has to do with the length of time uh, that a registrant would take to complete a process. And this issue is very critical in the times that we are in. COVID-19 presents, you know, the challenge of, you know, having to do things with the view to socially distance and all of that. And it would definitely eat into the time that we have. I, I hope um, we, that is not a disputed matter. We do know that those challenges or those protocols would affect the length of time in terms of going through the process. And so if, for instance, guarantors are used, maybe that would come with its own challenges. But otherwise, you're looking at the passport and the Ghana card, which would relatively make things easier, which is why we wanted to know. What I would say is that I, I, I will break the timing into three. Okay. Before you are uh, received into the demarcated area, once then when you are in the demarcated area, and when you appear before the, those who are taking the biometrics, the, if you are out of outside the demarcated area, it will depend on the number of people who are there. Mm -hmm. So that will be form of queuing. When you are uh, scan, uh, screened with the thermometer temperature guard, uh, the thermometer guard gun, and you went into the demarcated area, which we are going to control the number of people who will be in the demarcated area, that one will also have its time. Then when you appear before the uh, the biometrics, somebody who was my senior in secondary school told me that it took him three minutes to go through the biometrics. But uh, some said I was saying that they even used to But if you are talking of when you entered the place and the process you go through, in that case, it will depend on the number. Because if you go there and there's no queue, automatically the, the, the time will be less. If you go there and there's a queue, it also determine the time. Well, um, Doc, thanks for that. But um, speaking, going back to the eligibility um, uh, um, 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 modes, um, and trust me, I'm not trying to get you to speak you know, on the court matter. I, I do respect that. We wouldn't want to do that at all. But let's just try to understand what went into the thinking you know, of the removal of the birth certificate. I believe that is not would not necessarily be prejudicial to the court process. We're looking at the removal of the birth certificate. What informed that decision? Uh, if you have followed registration, birth certificate has never been part of the CI. So we have not removed it. It has never been there. Wasn't it in CI 72? Not at all. Go and check. It has never been. Um... We normally accept identifications which have pictures. Mm -hmm. So, birth certificate has never been. Baptism certificate has never been. Right. And so previously, it's, it's been the, 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 the voter's ID card which has a picture. But now that is being removed. So then uh, the issue about the birth certificates will then come in as an alternative in the absence you, you, you of... Can check, you, can, you can check CI-72 and mm -hmm. CI-91. Mm -hmm. I have CI-91. CI-91 doesn't state uh, birth certificates. CI-92 to birth certificates is not there. Okay. So, so the, the question then is why, why, this, why does it appear that that has gained a lot of um, focus, if you like, that issue about the birth certificate. Then that, that question should go to those who are talking about it. No, but you are in the game. You discuss it with those people uh, talking about it. So me, I'm just trying me. to get you to speak to that because obviously you've engaged them and you know their thinking. Uh, it's like you are asking me why didn't I read geography? And I said in my school, geography is not a subject. But in this case, so, geography is a subject in your school because this matter has been discussed between the commission that's why that and... That's all the allies, allies that we have been using, mm -hmm. those things have never been part. 
Mm. So unless you are telling me, tell me that we should bring it in. But you have not been part. So the issue of being removed doesn't come in. Mm. It should be in before you are removed. If you are not in, you cannot be removed. Very well. I, I appreciate that. Now, Doc, if we could turn our attention to public education, because that has implication for turnout. I mean, there are lots of, lots of reports coming out that um, it appears that people were not aware of this pilot exercise. Um, has that come to the attention of the commission and how is the commission uh, trying to deal with it vis-a-vis -vis the actual registration exercise? Because as a commission, I want to believe that you would want to have as many qualified persons get onto the voters' roll. What I would say is that the pilot, as is, we, you, you have used the word, it's a sampled one. So we, we, we didn't want to create congestion, extremely congestion at the regional offices. But wouldn't that, so wouldn't that have to, been a, 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 please, an opportunity please, to please, test please, the machines? Please, please, ask me a question, let me learn. Very yeah, well. Ask me a question. So what we did was to inform our officials who will be using the machine. We invited all the political parties without giving them quotas. No quota to them so that they can be as many as they want. We invited the media and we invited the security person. So our target was for our officials who will be using the machines, the political parties, the staff of the electoral commission, the security services, and the media. So we didn't make it open because we are only using one machine. So if you publicize it and you get huge numbers of number, uh, huge numbers at the regional office, we are talking of COVID period. You know the implication. Very well. Um, what I was saying earlier was that um, you, you indicated that you don't want to create congestion there, but I do appreciate that. But um, again, wouldn't the, if you like, large numbers coming in, but in a regulated or controlled way, by reason of the EC's measures that would be put in, wouldn't that have given uh, the commission a better opportunity to actually test the functionality or efficiency of the machines? Because the pilot as against the actual, we do know that the actual may come with relatively higher pressure. You see, I, I told you that our projection was to have 100 a day. And some we said more than 100. So it means that the, the strategy that we put in place, we more or less achieved our target. If it had not been the challenges of the first day, we realized that we would have, gotten, we would have hit the averages. Mm. So we, have, we had selected individuals that we wanted to come and observe and test it. So it is, we, once it's a pilot, it's a, it's a form of uh, testing. And when you're testing something, you don't make it general. Mm. You just uh, do some selections. And mm. that's why I said that we were interested in the political parties who are our main stakeholders as far as selections are concerned, including the voters and the media, the media and the security services mm. and the people who will be operating the machines. Right. So we I believe that we, we did the right selection. And we, but okay. in, uh, within this restriction to some Ordinary voters to were there, and we allowed them to take mm, Very well. Now, you, the, the, the target of 100 registrations per day uh, per system, um, how will that translate in terms of the totality? In, first of all, is that the same, or would that be the same target for the actual registrations? That, that, that is the averages. Uh, I, I want you to understand that there are polling stations in Ghana with 32 and the highest will be 800. So the average is 100, meaning that some will go 150 yep. more, and some will be less. Because we look at the, the figures before we came to conclusion. Sure, so uh, that's, uh, that's, that's, the that's the average. That's the average we're looking at. The 100 is the average, yes. Right, and that will translate to... And it also, it also depends on the the speed of the process. Uh, the process. Sure. I'm talking about who are doing it. And sure. also... Uh, the information that will be brought by the voter. Because if the voter comes, that he's supposed to provide the house numbers and other information. But when you rule out at the advert, all those things will be said. Mm -hmm. Some people will come and even, if you ask them their names, they'll mention four or five different names if they don't have the identification. 
So all these things may show up the uh, process. But like I said, the hundred is an average. Right. And in all, you're expecting uh, to register. Your target is 13 million, correct? In 21 no, days. No. That's, I believe, what yeah, I... 21 days. We are said, after that, we are using 38 days. Mm -hmm. So I don't know where the 21 days came from. So if we, if we talk of the clustering of five, five times six alone is but, 30. Mm -hmm. Then we have the resting period but, of... Uh, Dr. Shribo, sorry to cut you, but this is from your statement. And if I may read, just so we're on the same page, or you could correct me if I'm wrong. It says that at, the, at that level of performance and with the continued participation of the Ghanaian public, the commission is confident of registering some 13 million plus applicants within the first 21 days of the mass registration exercise. So this is what your statement says. So, that, so the first 21 days, so it's not the end of the exercise. Right, but for the first 21 days, you are aiming to register some 13 million I've, plus. I've, I've not seen that report. But no, this is a statement. The I'm not best... doubting. Okay, if you're not I'm doubting me, then that's that, fine. Yes, I'm not doubting. We're using 38 days. So mm -hmm. if the statement is in the first 21 days, mm -hmm. that means that for 21 days, we have 17 days to go. Mm -hmm. so, so it means that after, after 21 days, we are expecting a reason more. So uh, we are targeting around 15 to 16 million. At the end of the 38-day period? Exactly. Okay, so you're expecting the 21 days, the first 21 days to do 13 million and the remaining 17 days to do, uh, you know, the remainder, which would be I've, like the 2 I've, million. Or... I've, not, I've not seen the statement talking about 21 days, so I don't want to comment. Uh, and, 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 unless um, this... In, um, statement here signed by the acting director of public affairs, Mrs. Sylvia, are not dated for June 2020, is not I'm, legitimately I'm not, coming from. Me where, I'm not disputing it. What I said is that I have not seen it. Mm -hmm. So the difference between it's not true and I've not seen it. I'm mm -hmm. saying I have not seen it. Mm -hmm. But if I were to read it and I have any question, I would have asked for clarification. Mm -hmm. I've not seen it, so I can't comment on that. But what I know is that. We are using 38 days and we are targeting between 50 and 60 million. Okay, Dr. Shribo, honestly, I wouldn't want to belabor this, but uh, given um, the, the, the seat you sit in, I just want to say, are you saying that you don't know this projection by the EC? I've given you the projection I know, and I said we are targeting 15 to 16 at the close of the enterprise. 15 million at the close of, okay. And yes. so what we have here, you are saying you don't know about that. But, but what, what, you, what you have here is at, 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 at the middle of the exercise. That's what I'm saying. I don't have that state. This was a day but after, after this was on the, uh, this was a day after the exercise closed, the 4th of June, which indicated I'm that. Okay. I'm, I am not disputing it. But what I'm saying is that I have not seen that statement that's uh, but that's what the, the projection i have is at the end of the exercise and that's mm -hmm. what i've given you very well so at at the pace of 100 per day um and um with a kind of modes of proof of eligibility are we certain that we can get these numbers we are projecting we have thought through before we came out the computations and so it's a, we are you, you can guarantee that we're going to get these numbers we if you look at article 42 of the constitution mm -hmm. it is that any Ghanaian 18 years and above mm -hmm. can register and vote mm -hmm. if you do anything that undermine that that will serve as antithesis mm -hmm. so it is our responsibility to provide the avenue for any qualified Kenyan to register, mm -hmm. and we are committed to that. Mm. And, and that brings back the issue about the birth certificate. And I agree with you that, yes, it's never been in, the, in CI-72, uh, neither has it been in CI-91. But what would you say to people who are saying that perhaps in view of the fact that we are taking out now the existing voter ID, then perhaps in your quest as the Electoral Commission to get as many people as many qualified people as possible onto the role, then perhaps we should have, you know, added or brought in, perhaps for the first time, the birth certificate in a uh, regulated uh, manner. Can I, can, can I ask you a question? 
Definitely, I don't mind. Yes. Yeah. Uh, do you have any identification card that makes the best educate as a sole requirement? We have any what? Do you have any form of national ID uh -huh. that have has the best certificate as a sole requirement for identification? Not necessarily. Or have you heard? Not necessarily. Okay. But the, not necessarily. But so within the in, mm -hmm. tell, for example, I know of the passport. Mm -hmm. Passport, you can use the birth certificate. Mm -hmm. But in addition, you will need two guarantors and one witness. Right. So we have we have rather reduced even the requirement to only two guarantors if you don't have a Ghana card and a passport. Mm. So let's move forward. Sure. Cannot, I, I mean, we, I would back. definitely want to move forward, but it's just, of course, as I, when I sit in the seat, I, I, I try to, you know, project the, the concerns of, of the many Ghanaians, you know. And I've so, given you the reason that birth certificates don't have pictures. Mm -hmm. They have never been used. So. And so the lack of reason. that uh, feature is why you are um, I'm, I'm refusing to use that. We have, we have never been used. We have never used it before. So. Mm. Very well. Now, um, Doc, let's look at time, the timetable. Um, we currently have the timetable, the timetable or the calendar of the EC. Okay, okay, okay. So um, there are a number of activities um, that will be done contingent on the completion of the registration exercise. You're looking at after the registration exercise is done, you're going to compile the register, you're going to have the exhibition, then you're going to share copies uh, with the political parties. And then we move on to elections. Uh, there are concerns that we perhaps may be running against time. And uh, that obviously is, is, a, is, a, is a genuine concern. How would you convince the Ghanaian, the ordinary Ghanaian listening, that um, the EC is well aware of, of these time limitations and is, you know, working in a way that would ensure that we do go through and at the end of the day, we get a credible voters register with as many qualified persons on there. Hello. Yes, hello, Doc. Did you hear me? Uh, I, think, I think you have answered the questions for me. We, we, How yeah, so? We have... We have thought through all our programs and activities. Mm -hmm. And God willing, when we finish the registration ending of July, we will use the whole of August to do the uh, printing, adjudications, what have you, the whole of August. Then, that is, uh, uh, when we finish that, then we, we are planning to have our exhibition in September. The political parties will be given the provisional registers, and mm -hmm. we'll do the exhibition in September. Then, in October, we'll do the nominations. Then, in December, we'll hold the election. Mm. We have the timetable. Time we have thought through, and I can assure you that immediately we come out with the, as the final date for registration. All the other days will be rolled out, and you see them. So, we have been doing a lot of research meeting, talking, and the rest. So we, will, we are not coming out with the days in a vacuum. Mm. They are thought, thought through dates. And I can assure you that we will deliver. God, okay. God on our now let's just look at, a, at some things that happened in 2012. Now, I have a Codeo report here, which I'm looking at, and it indicated that the 2012 registration exercise um, started, you know, from the 24th of March and ended on the 5th of May 2012. And so that would be over a period of 41 days. And that, uh, in terms of voter turnout, it reports that voter turnout was low. And that was in a non-COVID-19 era. We are in a COVID-19 era where people are more than ever cautious of their environment and how they relate with people. And we have to conduct the voter registration exercise, according to you this morning, within a period of 38 days, including the mop-up period. Question is, how, uh, or how is the EC, in view of what happened in 2012, going to ensure that we get, again, as many qualified people 
to be on the roll because the right to vote can only start when you get registered. And so that is critical. And we, we, we are trying to learn from um, history. And in, in history here, I'm speaking of events of 2012, which was a period where there was no COVID-19, yet voter ten, sorry, um, ten out of applicants was low. So what are the measures being put in place to ensure that people do turn out in their numbers within the relatively shorter period of time? I, I don't know. Are you saying that 2012, that people didn't register? Not that people didn't register. I'm looking at a Codeo report, and we do know the role of Codeo in our, 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 our democratic governance processes. So yes, I want to believe that report. That, that, that voter looking, turnout, I mean, turnout for, ele for the registration was lower than was, expected was lower than expected. And I'm saying, and the reason why I'm bringing this up is because we are looking at two different situations where 2012, we didn't have a situation that would necessarily um, let people stay at home or choose their health over their civil rights, if you like. Now you have a situation where there's COVID-19 and people are more than ever cautious of their health. So we are trying to see what the EC is putting in place to ensure that as much as possible you get qualified people to be on the road. And I believe that is um, um, a concern of the EC, to get as many qualified yeah. people to be on the voter roll. Yeah. Yeah, if, if, if you monitor the pilot, you, you will see that the people are eager to register. And if you also monitor the pilot, you will realize that we have put in place protocols to protect the health of the people. We have had a lot of meetings with the COVID coordinating team national, the meetings with the national Ghana Health Services too. So the protocols are that before you get to the police regime center, your temperature will be taken. If your temperature is within the normal range, you will continue the process by washing your hand, using the water, run water from the Veronica bucket. Every center will have one. Then you join the queue. And we are also expecting that everybody will come there in a mask. When you get it gets your turn to you do the biometrics. Once you put your hand on the scanner, that's the only machine you will have personal contact with. And whenever anybody puts their hand on, the, the machine will be clean. Then when it's time for you to take the picture, you take off the mask and your picture is taken. Because we need to have the full view of your face. When the card is given to you and you are going out to, you also use the sanitizer or the vernacular bucket to clean your hands. Mm. So these are the protocols that are in place. Mm. Me, I, I, the Minister for uh, Ghana Health Service is also going to make available mobile health Team. So that in case there's the need for anybody to be attending to, we'll call them and they will address mm. to the attend to the person. If they need to take the person to their, their nearest health facility, they will do. Mm. If they have to treat the person on their own, instantly to, they will do. Mm. Right. Now, Doc, you've indicated that, the, lastly, before you go, uh, that there will be a three-day mopping up um, 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 process or exercise, which forms part of the 38 days which, as I've indicated, already is less than the 41 days that we saw in 2012. Now, question is, what happens after the 38 days, which includes the mopping up, if you, your, 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 the actuals are way lower than what was expected? What would you do? Do we have the scope to improve, increase the time or further have an enhanced I've, mopping up? I've, I've, I've already said that Article 42 enjoins us to register anybody who make himself or herself available. So to the last person who makes himself or herself available registered, we have not finished the registration. So till the last person makes themselves available, you've not finished? I mean, the, the, to the last person who makes himself available is registered. Uh -huh. It's registered, we have not finished. That is the, within, the, the, within the 38 days? Even if after 38 days, and there are some people who need to be registered, they are ready to register, we have not registered them. Okay. 
Well, I think that that's quite reassuring. So, but for how long will that go? Because you have events that are contingent on you finishing uh, with the registration exercise. If you, if you, if you, you heard me well, I said those who make themselves available mm -hmm. will be registered. If you have not made yourself available, we can't talk about that. So but let's that, finish with the 38 days and see what happens. Because so you're saying that it's an open-ended thing? We are, we are convinced that within the 38 days, We'll be, covered, we'll be able to cover everybody. But if the situation arises, that there are some people who are still available, they want to register and they have not been registered, we'll, we'll cater for them. Yes, but for how long is the question? But Or you don't have a particular timeline for that? that, that I've said that the TAD did, we will be able to cover everybody. That's our projection. And you are saying that in case, that means that if, because from our planning and projection, we will finish the registration within the 38 days. And you meet your but target? If, if, Exactly. But if it happens that after 38 days, there are some people who are still available, they want to register, and they have not been covered within 38 days, we'll cover them. Okay. I, 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 won't, I won't push it further. I think we can, we can end it here, Doc. And we, we are grateful. But your last words, is there anything you'd like to tell Ghanaians uh, before you, we, we, we end it here in perhaps a minute? What I would say is that the Electoral Commission cares for the life of everybody. You have to uh, be alive before you you register and you vote. When we talk of credible register, it has certain characteristics. It should be accurate, meaning that the data should be correct. It should be current. It shouldn't be an uh, old record compiled. It should be inclusive. Whoever is qualified to be registered and is there should be included. And it should also be exclusive. Exclusive means that if your name shouldn't be there, it shouldn't be there. For example, if you are not 18 years, please don't attempt to register because you'll be offending the law. If you are not a Ghanaian, please don't attempt to register. And don't try to impersonate. Use somebody's particular name or other thing to register because all these things are offense against the law. That will be law abiding. Commission has thought through all our activities and we are convinced that whatever be the case, anybody who makes himself to be registered, will be registered. God bless all of us. Very well. I, I know I said that was the final question, but lastly, an assurance that we're going to have, we're not going to have a bloated register. And for that matter, a credible, accurate register. It is the responsibility of all of us, myself, yourself, and the listener, or the viewer, to help compile a credible register, devoid of unqualified names. It is not as when we have the to commission. At Everybody the end of the day, the buck stops with the EC, doesn't it? Yes, it's a collective thing, but at the end of the day, the yes. buck stops and with the EC. If the buck stops with that, then you should allow us to do our work. We're allowing you to do your work, Dr. Shibu, <laughs> nobody is preventing you from doing your job. You yes. are being allowed to freely operate. Yes, that, so, in that case, whatever we owe out, that we think will help us, let us all accept that the buck stops with us. Yes, So, indeed. if we don't do the right thing, then you can... You'll be accountable. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, exactly, yeah, exactly. Sure. But we are sure that we have done whatever we have to do. We are going to do whatever we have to do to give Ghanaians the best register and an incontrovertible election mm. 2020. Very well. Uh, Dr. Srebo Kweku, thank you so much. And uh, we would definitely be speaking to you more as we go along um, uh, on, on this journey to... 7 December 2020. We do appreciate your time. So we just uh, finished our conversation with Dr. Sribor Kweku, who is the Director of Electoral Services with the Electoral Commission. We'll take a break. When we come back, we turn our, our, our attention to COVID-19 